In this video, I'm going to be talking about three features that were removed from ERLC and when they were in the game, people actually really, really enjoyed them. So if you do enjoy them, please do like and subscribe as it does help out a lot. Make sure you do everything else from the description, but let's get straight into this. Okay, so ERLC has been updated a lot since it was first released, but they have actually removed a lot of features that they added as well. So I have three things that I think people actually liked and people did like when they were in the game, uh, and then they obviously removed remove them so I'm not really sure why they remove some of these we do have some ideas on why and, and I will talk about that but the first one is the old police Camaro so it's quite ironic actually that a few days ago in the last update of ERLC we actually got that police Camaro again the old Camaro not for the police team though let me show you so over here at the civilian spawn if we just go over here so as you can see this one was actually recently added now I'm not sure if it's the exact same model or anything but this looked very very similar to what we had a long long time ago i'll try and put a picture on screen now if i can see any but this is what it looked like a long long time ago pretty similar to that and this car was actually on the police team but it was removed i believe when they added the ford mustang so many people argue that the ford mustang is better than the police chevrolet camaro um but i don't know people did like this one and it was like an old kind of classic -y, nice fast car so i don't really know why it was removed i am assuming it was just because they didn't want to have too many cars and they wanted to put the mustang on there instead so that's the only reasonable excuse that I think they would have removed it for. But it was a really, really nice car on the police team and a lot of people liked it, to be honest. So it was quite sad that this got removed. No one really noticed when it was removed, to be honest. People did, obviously. They did mention it and stuff. But no one really talked about it until kind of a few months after when people were like, oh, wait, I actually miss this car now. So it was a good car, but let me know what you think about this car in the comments below. So I think it was cool. And I know a lot of you wouldn't even have been playing the game uh, when this car was on the police team because it was a few years ago now I think. As you can see this car is pretty cool. I mean I guess it is a bit too old for the police team but some people actually do want it back and I don't know if they'll add it back. I mean they did add it back to the civilian team after removing it. I'm not sure if this is the exact same model as I've said but it looks very very similar to what it was. So, so yeah this is a really really cool car but let's move on to the next one. Okay, so I'm sure a lot of you actually remember um, the old bunker for ERLC. So um, it was just over here. I actually forgot where it used to be for a moment. But just over here, nearby this little um, kind of pond thing over here. There never used to be this little kind of pond, river, lake thing here. It's not a river or a lake, it's a pond. And the bunker actually used to be in this mountain here. I will be able to get a screenshot of that on screen because I know I actually have some screenshots of that and some video footage as well. Um, but yeah, it was really cool on the mountain and when it was removed or when it well it hasn't been removed it was moved which i'll talk about in a moment when it was moved a lot of people didn't know where it was go where it went and a lot of people were confused but it did used to be here and it got moved so so honestly the reason it was moved i have no idea i'm assuming or i think it might be because too many people knew about it maybe and it wasn't really secret anymore but i'll go and show you where it is now so or maybe they just had to remove it because they added like the little pond there maybe i just thought of that then maybe that could be the reason because they added that and because when they added that, that was when the bunker was moved. So maybe that was a reason that was a pretty cool drift there. But it was quite good over there, to be honest. I liked it over there. Whereas now, it's over here. It's a lot more hidden. So I guess that's better. But it's all the way over here and behind this little kind of bush here. So as you can see, it's just here. It's the exact same door and the exact same inside. This hasn't been updated in literally ages. Um, but yeah, it was really, really cool. It still is used quite a lot, to be honest. Um, and it might move again, to be honest, because a lot of people know where it is now. I'm not sure where it will be moved but if they keep moving it then that would actually be pretty cool and it would kind of change it up a little bit I guess so that was a cool feature I do not know why it was removed well it hasn't really been removed I keep saying removed it hasn't been removed it's just been moved around a little bit but a lot of people did like it when it was over near the gun store and obviously it being near the gun store is useful because obviously if you needed ammo or something and you were kind of camping in the bunker or something you could just run over here quickly and go get it and then go back to the bunker where your teammates are as well so it was cool but I'm not really sure why it was and then the third third one the final one is the old police livery so this is a bit of a weird backstory so we had we've had many new police livery updates now for the police cars and the sheriff uh, over the years they've changed quite a lot to be honest I think we've had like four different ones 
Um, and then when they were updated to the most recent one, which are still used after about a year now, completely removed from the game, and they were not in the game for about a year. But that was until we got the livery update for private servers, so you could make your own liveries for the private servers. So if you had a private roleplay server, you could make your own livery. I know there's loads of ones that have like British police cars now, and people have like thousands of different liveries for their private servers, and it is really, really cool. And then after the old liveries not being in the game for ages, some of the community members actually started to remake them which I think was pretty cool but then PRC actually partnered up with some server I'm not really sure what it is um, and they kind of made they remade the old police liveries I think or they just add them back I'm not sure but they added them onto the private servers so if you have the custom livery game pass you can actually enable the old police liveries instead however you can't do it in public servers and a lot of people have to play in public servers because they need XP to rank up you can't play in private servers to actually rank up the teams and stuff because you don't your XP and money does not save. So a lot of times people have to come onto public servers and either try and cuff rush, I guess, and just get some XP, or they actually have to play, but they want to use the old liveries. So a lot of people were quite sad when they were removed, and they were removed for a good, like, year or so, I'm gonna say, uh, until they were added back only to private servers. So it is good that they're back in private servers now. A lot of people are much happier about that, but let me know what you think about this in the description, in the comments below. But yeah, that is gonna be all for this video. They were the top three features that were removed from ERLC. If you did enjoy this video, then please do like and subscribe as it does help out a lot. Make sure you join my Discord server. Links below or using the code discord.gg slash amaze. You can also go and follow me on Twitter at amazeplace underscore. You can follow me on Instagram as well and follow my new TikTok from the links in the description. And thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.